180! Tight! Blue 15! Far left! Far left! Blue A is tight! Tight! Green 15! Blue A is Hey, zero tight! <laughs> Who 
lady! Alert, 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 alert! Who is that? Tight! Blue 15! Friday, Friday, Friday! Spot that, spot that! Go! Gun, gun, gun! Hey, zero, zero, zero! Alert, 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 alert! Shot, shot! Three, nine, shot! Be alert, be alert. Gun, gun, gun. Punch left, punch left. Green, I ain't shot. Left hash, left hash. Hey, blue lady! Punch left, punch left! Gun, gun, gun! Blue fatigue! Go, 
gun, gun, gun. Hey, zero, zero, zero. Gun, gun, gun. Tight! Blue 80! Good guys, four down, four down! Let's go, 14! Right left, right left! Good tight! <laughs> Punch left, punch left. Good job right there, good job right there. Die. Gotta go, in and out, let's go. Blue A shot! Tight! Flying 90! Front left, front left! Gun, gun, gun! Hey, zero, zero, zero! Green A shot! Bang out, bang out, bang, bang. Hey, let's go, let's go double count right here, double count. Green, hey, shut. Zebra, zebra. Gun, gun, gun. Gun, gun, four down, four down. Gun, gun, gun. Smoke, smoke. 14. Blue A, shut. <laughs> Tight. Green 80. Front left, front left. Touch 50, touch 50. Blue A, shut. <laughs> Right there. Punch left, punch left. Shut it. Shut it. Shut it. Shut it. Shut Hey, zero, zero, zero. Shut it. four down, four down. Shut it. Shut it. Shut Good guy, four down, four down. Hey, low alert, low alert. Tight. <laughs> Tight. Green 15. Tight. <laughs> Tight! 
Fight! Green 80! It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. This will be taken in at the wall. Turn here, he'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. At their own 24 yard line. Come on, set team. Get you on it. Get you on it. Tackles. Tackles. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they called the field general. First down, the 38-yard line. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. Second and nine, Jackson being chased out left. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. This is Ingram on first and 10. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Take this all the way down to the Seahawks nine. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the ten. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, the risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff there. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him a gain of 6 on the keeper, but it still brings up 4. This situation in the fourth quarter, you go for it. But here, take the points. If you go for it here and don't get it, you and I are missing our plane, and we're going to the post-game press conference to hear him justify it. Because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in, announcing a firing. There is no way he goes for it here. Get the field goal. It's the first half of the game. You've got time to make it up. Buying time to his left. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And that will get out of bounds. Lucky there. They keep possession inside the five. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. Earl Thomas in on the stop. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Check 13. Watch twist. Watch the twist. To throw on second and six. Wilson dancing the bed. He can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Jalen Ferguson in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he's got Lockett. 
And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A gain of right around 30 on a play that began way back inside the five. Now Wilson on first down. Steps away to his left. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, with that incompletion, let's tap into the useless facts file, shall we? Three guys with the last name Allen got the start in week nine. Josh in Buffalo, Kyle in Carolina, Brandon in Denver. All three got the win, and Charles hits the first time in league history that three QBs sharing the last name won on the same weekend. How about that? And I think for Brandon Allen, his first start as well, so not bad. Now, throw in the guys who have the same last name, and their starts. Let's go to 2000. The Johnsons, Brad, Doug, and Rob. And in 1984, we're really digging deeper. I love this. Dave, Wade, and Mark Wilson. Now, to my recollection, none of them were related. Just all had the same last name. Who would you take, the Johnsons? Or would you take the Wilsons? <laughs> I'll take the Johnsons because I actually remember them playing. But, oh, I'm sorry, you're getting mad at me for that comment. <laughs> But none of them ever won on the same weekend, so we witnessed what? NFL What's history this past week. We certainly did. Great NFL Shoot, well, history. Well. At least Brad Johnson well. won a Super Bowl. Slam, slam, slam. Right there, right on second down, it's Carson. Shrugs off another. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Hey, zero, zero, zero. on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw again. Wilson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler Marcus Peters. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, hey, we talked about the AFC playoff picture. Let's look at the NFC. That's a different story. You've got Dallas and Philly neck and neck in the East, then Green Bay, New Orleans, and San Francisco as division leaders. But with only two more wild card spots, there'll be some good teams left out in the cold in January. Yeah, because right Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he'll be brought down around the seven-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free. And he will not be denied. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Taking it in from seven yards away. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Myers connects on the PAT. And it's now a 7 0 game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You're under a heavy and down he goes. That's Ziggy Ansah, the number five pick in 2013, credited with a sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. There's Jackson on third and long. Forced out to his left. Oh, that's just not fair, and that room to run. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. 
up to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 23 yards on the tuck and run. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jackson now. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Ezekiel Ansah picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now it's Jackson. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Go, go. Watch it, 33, 33. Now watch run, watch run. Hey, check my goal. Jackson. And that will be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only one so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Now Justin Tucker. He has hit from 61 in his career, so he has the leg for this. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them special. Huh? And now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Good, good, good. On first and ten, it's Wilson. He lets it fly for Rocket. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up near the 32. And he will take this all the way down to the 38 yard line. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Interception. Here's Jackson. And Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. Exactly. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Hey, Pudo, Pudo, Pudo. 48, come on. Okay, double, go, go. 48, go, go, four down, four down. We ain't giving up nothing. This time, Wilson will throw. Flushed out right. Complete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Back deep is DeAnthony Thomas.
Here's Thomas. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Watch twist. Watch twist. Final play of the half here is Jackson. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. See if they do just that. Here's Carson. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. To throw is Wilson. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And that'll bring up second down. CD, we're already firmly in the month of November, so I want to go ahead and take a look at the AFC playoff picture. Right now, division leaders, New England, Baltimore, Houston, and KC. If it ended today, the wild cards would go to Buffalo and Indianapolis. So I think those are going to be the six. Probably some shuffling along the way. There will be some shuffling along the way, maybe more in seeding than in actual teams, because when you look at who's in the wild card hunt right now, Pittsburgh, Oakland, both four and four. Tennessee and Jacksonville, at four. And Wilson's going to be intercepted at one time. Picked off at the 45. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. The first possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Mike's 54. Mike's 54. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 54. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 16 yards, a first down. They'll run on first down. Ingram, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. On second and 11 now, Jackson being chased out left. That's into the hands of the tight end Boyle. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 12 yards there and a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They run. It's Mark Ingram. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? From 
from the gun. Jackson binds. Touchdown, Ravens. Well, this was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait. Oh, it's open. Time to hot foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points. Straight line. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. So the loss of a yard, and now second and 11 from the 24-yard line. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Check, 48. 40, 40, 40. Pick me up. Now Wilson on second down. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Seahawks on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 16. Let's go, D. Mike, 48. Mike, 48. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's caught by Hollister. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Twelve yards on the return that time, and the Ravens will take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, whatever the four-minute offense is, is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Ziggy Ansah giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Throwing on second and long. Jackson. That he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. It's now third down. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Now he's going to throw deep. At, and look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 16. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. 
I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside of the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. This will go for five up to the 33. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. They run again with Carson. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Offensive praise and offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, I thought we were seeing from this. Blitz coming and down he goes. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go. The football led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. Field and down to the 45. And they're going to come up empty here on fourth down. And that one, uh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. A gain of three, second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Check 99. Ingram again. And he stopped immediately there. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Mike by four, Mike by four, Mike by four. Watch the run, watch the run. Jackson to throw. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And they will take a knee here. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Now it's Ingram. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. Down to a knee goes Jackson, and that should seal it. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game.
So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 37. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.